G'day Internet, Kale from Wakato here and welcome to Wakato in a Minute. Today I want to show you how to track changes to a recipe. You've probably worked with a lot of tools that have some way of visualizing change. If you work with Google Docs, you've used suggestion mode to track edits. If you've used a version control system like GitHub, you've seen a code diff. And you can do something similar with recipes. And there's a lot of reasons why you might want to look at what's changed between versions of a recipe. Maybe you need to review and approve a change someone's made and you want to make sure you understand it. Maybe multiple people are working on the same recipe and you want to know what other builders have been doing. Or maybe it's just been a minute since you worked on a recipe and you need a reminder of what you did last time. So let me show you how we do this. I have a recipe here that picks up cases that my customer support team records in Salesforce, checks them for completeness, and forwards them over to Jira where my technical support team can pick them up and work on them. Now I know we've made some changes to this recipe. I wanna make sure that I understand exactly what's new. So I'll head over to the versions tab and I can compare any two versions of this recipe. I'm gonna choose the most recent version and one from a few days ago, the last time I remember looking at it. And I'll click compare. Now, if you've seen a code diff, this is going to look very familiar to you. I have the older version on the left, the newer version on the right, and all of the changes are highlighted and labeled. And there's a simple color code to follow here. Added steps are highlighted in green, removed steps are red, and updated steps are in blue. Different types of updates are labeled, and we'll go through some of them. In addition, this diff shows two different levels of detail. I can see the overall recipe here, and I can drill down into the changes to an individual step. So. Let's start with the high level differences, including my trigger here. You can see that I've updated it to add a new condition to it. Second, you can see that this search issue step has been moved. I can see it's been moved down to step seven. And if I look over on the right, I can see where I've moved it to here. Now I've also added a new step and this is an error monitoring block. And these subsequent steps I've updated to nest them underneath the error monitoring block. If I'd unnested them, I'd see that label as well. I've removed a step here that sent an email notification, and I've replaced them with new steps that send a notification through Slack. And finally, down at the bottom, I've added my actual error handling block, and I call out to my global error handling function. Now that's the high level version of this diff. I can also drill into the details of any individual updated step. Like for example here, I can see that I've added this new condition to my trigger. So that's highlighted in green, it's new. If I have a look at my create issue in the JIRA step, I can see that I've changed some of the values that I'm sending out to JIRA and these are highlighted in blue. So I can see both this micro level of detail, what's changed in any individual step, and also the macro view of what steps have been added, removed, or updated across the entire recipe. So in one screen, I can get a complete picture of what's changed between any two versions of a recipe. That's going to make it easier for me to conduct effective peer reviews and easier to collaborate with other builders. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.